Okay, so this uh, this next video is picking up where the last, uh, I guess, three or four have left off. Um, starting with um, the teaching that says things are not as they seem, nor are they otherwise. And then um, moving on to the Heart Sutra and um, dealing with emptiness, with oneness, with uh, sameness and difference, with relative and absolute, with balancing all these things and not only balancing them, but um, going past them in a, in a sense that um, we're not caught in between them, but we're rising above them to a place where um, polarities are, um, are dealt with um, but at the same time recognized um, as one experience and that we need not get bogged down in any, in either end of that polarity. So um, reconciling difference by seeing the sameness in it. And uh, what I'm going to talk about now is, um, it's a teaching that says, the way is not difficult as long as we do not get attached to our picking and choosing, our preference and judgment. And um, the key word here is attachment because, um, and this teaching again is about breaking attachment, about letting go, about how do we put enlightenment um or into action, how is how do we do enlightenment? How do we do Buddhism? How do we do actually let go? How do we do these things? How do we break attachment? How do we not get attached better yet? So the key word here is attached. And most people kind of miss that because they instantly hear this teaching as um, saying we can't have preferences, we can't have judgments, we can't pick, we can't choose. And they get um, defensive about it, like, well, what happens to me? I disappear without this. And and it's not saying we can't have pick, picking and choosing or preference and judgment, it just says we can't be attached to it. So what does this mean? It means that we have to have a flexibility and a pliability in regard to uh, our perspective about what we pick, what we choose, what we prefer. Um, and can we have um, the ability to ebb and flow as these um, the things we pick and choose or prefer um, don't happen? when we're denied what we want, when reality doesn't conform to how we wish it to be, can we accept that? Or do we set out to try to make reality conform to the way we want? And this is again, one of, uh, one of the truths of the existence of suffering, which is change, right? Pain, change, conditionality. We talked about that in another video, but here is about in the impermanence of change. And my own rigidity in my perspective or my view or my outlook or my expectations, better put, um, being met or not met. If I'm very rigid in what I expect to happen in my life, I'm going to suffer because it's going to be very painful when those expectations are not met. And to expect to have security in our expectations is, is where this starts. So the saying the way is not difficult for those that aren't attached to picking and choosing preference and judgment. And it actually doesn't say attachment in the traditional version. It just says the way is not difficult for those that don't pick or choose or have preference or judgment. Now, not having judgment. So I, the read between the lines teaching is we can't be attached to them. Of course, we're going to have them. And in regard to judgment, it doesn't mean we don't have discernment. I like what I like. You will like what you like. I prefer this. You prefer that. Something's happening in my life. I investigate it. I assess it. And I use discernment to decide whether I, I um, want to engage or not. Or, or do I want this person in my life or not? Do I want this situation? 
So there's constant discernment from the most basic stuff to um, to very complicated nuances that that we deal with. So um, it, we don't lose our individuality. We don't. We'll always have a personality and a character, and we'll have a self that has a unique personal experience. It's all our own. You don't live my life. I don't live yours. Um, what you pick and choose, um, I don't. And what I pick and choose, you don't. What I prefer, you don't. And what I uh, discern or have judgment for, you might have judgment against and vice versa. So don't get get caught up in, in losing our unique experience because that's not what happens. It just means that we recognize our unique experience. What really makes it unique and special is um, to the ability to, to ebb and flow and, and um, accept as experience itself changes, right? So can I um, be pliable, flexible, and not get caught up and attached in my rigidity of what I expect? Because that's going to cause me to pursue and avoid to try to make my expectations be met. So... Um, this is Buddhism in action. This is letting go in action. This is breaking attachment in action. This is preventing attachment in action by having this kind of perspective and uh, consciousness. So um, I'm going to leave it there for now and um, peace out.